Hello, welcome to the first video news from Train Mainsland. We are Knedlik and Medhon, and since a long time has passed since our last video, we have a lot of news for you, Madden. You're right, Train Mainsland is coming back to life again after more than a year break. You can use the latest version of Minecraft to connect to the server. Water, lava, and TNT work start. If you write something to chat, we can now answer even without being there. Applying for membership or staff position is now much easier. Just tap on a sign. Server is preparing for selling land. Unprotected buildings may be excluded from backup. Minigames work again on our server and even better than ever before. Mazeland has a new maze for two players. Host Parker is now functional, including checkpoint. First players have tried our original Czech game courtesy. After three years, Metan has finally finished his fifth maze. It's absolutely insane. There is something to do again in Train Maze Land. The server has temporarily stopped its operation in March 2017 when upgrade to lead version 2 started but didn't complete due to technical issue. The server remained off for almost three months until we successfully recovered it, unfortunately from a year old backup. All new backups were lost. The pause got even longer because many games didn't work. This lasted until we managed to make the first maze working again. You can use Minecraft Bedrock Edition version 1.7 to play on Train Maze Land now. This means you can connect from iOS, Android, Windows 10, even Xbox One. A lot has changed since the time we published some video from our server. Water and lava now flows, TNT explodes. You can fire arrows from a bow and use new materials such as prismarine, terracotta or concrete. But these are just a few examples. If you want to know more, you simply have to try it out. Did you know that in Trayman's land, writing to chat makes sense even if you're alone there? The server's chat is connected to a Slack channel. If you write something on the server, we can read it on Slack and even respond. Our Slack can be accessed not only by server staff, but even member. Just ask for access invitation by sending an email to slack at traymazeland.com. Trey Maze Land has a new way to apply for membership or staff position. In the past you had to create a sign with your application on a wall in the office. The disadvantage was that anyone could break your sign even before staff noticed it. Now it is much easier. You just tap on the right sign and if you meet all requirements, your application will get locked automatically. If you don't meet all conditions, message will appear telling you what you have to achieve before applying. Our staff still has to process all applications manually, but we have a plan to make this easier as well. You will be able to buy land on the server soon. Even though it, this was already possible in the past, we had to do it manually and it was quite complicated, therefore you didn't have many land plots to buy. The new system already lets you find out where you are and select areas have more information available. Once the new land system is finished, selling and buying land plots will be fully automated. You can still build in the wild, but your buildings will not be protected and may be excluded from backups. We plan to make the new land system work during this winter. And now the more interesting news. There should be no more boredom on our server because we made the first minigames work again and they work even better than ever before. You can get the list of all available minigames by typing slash game list. Joining a game is also possible by command, but it's more fun to find the game and join by tapping on a sign. All games start with a delay so that you have some time to prepare and every game has a time limit. Every minigame also has a leaderboard so no one can deny your success and you can even try to beat your own records. Maceland has a new maze. We call it the Twins and you will find it behind the invisible maze. But you cannot play this maze alone, you need someone to help you. This minigame has to be played by two players at the same time, while one player
tries to find a way through the first tower, second player is trying to go through the other one. The game ends with a success when both players meet in the middle of the glass bridge. We have dedicated this maze to the victims of the terrorist attack of the World Trade Center on the 11th of September 2001. If you prefer jumping over rambling, you will surely be glad that the first maze land parkour is functional as well. Even though it's not ideal for beginners, at least checkpoint works there. So if you reach it, you don't have to start from the beginning every time you make a mistake. First players have tried our original Czech minigame Krtci. This minigame was invented by Knedlik two years ago, but we didn't finish it until recently. The game starts under the ground. You get a shovel and your goal is to dig through a tunnel of dirt and find your way to the top of the molehill. You compete racing against up to three other players and the first three players reaching finish get rewarded. You cannot find this minigame on other servers yet, until someone illegally copies it. And the most mad news lasts. After three years, Madden finally finished his fifth maze named Maze Inn. Even though the entrance looks innocent at first sight, this maze has over 10,000 rooms under the cover and there is a way to every one of them. There is only one correct path to the finish and at least through 478 rooms. There is, however, say to exist a simple key and the player who finds it can go through the maze in about half an hour. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, goodbye, I hope you will give us a like and subscribe so that we can see you next time as we already have a plan to publish additional official videos from Train Maceland. Correct Madden? No. Okay, yes.